All right, what's up guys? Happy Tuesday. It's been quite a while since I've posted a uh, Facebook video for you guys. Um, but the uh, new year is well underway now. Um, already halfway through January. And uh, every year with the new year, we see a couple awesome things happen. One of them being um, everybody's super motivated right now. You know, it's a new year. Um, you know, I'm not a subscriber to the whole new year, new you, new you thing, but um, that brings like that motivation with people is great. Uh, and we want to use that momentum and use that mo mo motivation uh, in the most productive way possible. Okay. Um, with that though, um, it comes a couple of things that disturb me as a coach, uh, as a health fitness professional, and as somebody who um, values uh, success in the long run versus the short run. Now, um, with the internet being the way it is, it's super easy to get lots of information. Um, whether that's good or bad depends on the information. But what we see this time of year is a lot of people jumping on quick fix bandwagons, whatever those may be. Uh, and this year, the trend seems to be one of a couple things. Uh, one, number one, it tends to be or it seems to be uh, different fasting variations. Uh, and number two seems to be uh, the extremely low carb kick. Um, and uh, I, want, I want to just kind of come at you guys with uh, some words of caution and some education regarding those types of things. So um, one of the things that we always want to make sure you guys are doing here at Devoted Strength is both supporting and stimulating your lean mass in the gym. So pretty much everybody, especially uh, if you've come in for the Lean and Fit program, um, but pretty much everybody in the gym has said, I want to look leaner, I want to be more toned, right? And I want to have some amount of muscle mass. Depending on who that person is, that's gonna change by degree. For most of you ladies, we're not talking about being becoming the incredible She-Hulk, but what we are talking about is improving your body composition so things look firmer, you feel stronger, and that sort of thing. For a lot of you guys out there, we wanna go a little more extreme with that muscle building, uh, which is great, right? But I have a little example on the board uh, behind me here, and I'll try to get that glare out of here in a second, of uh, what can happen if we're not both supporting and stimulating that lean muscle. So what's it mean to support lean muscle? Well, number one, it means we have adequate, adequate nutrients coming into the body to allow that muscle to both build or to, uh, I'm sorry, to build or to maintain a certain level of lean muscle um, during a weight loss phase. So uh, one of the things you need to know going into this is lean muscle is very costly for your body. Just to even exist, to have some amount of lean muscle, um, your body has to, um, it, it, the, the muscle expands calories right and so in a weight loss uh, phase or a weight loss cycle um, your body's saying like hey I'm not getting enough to eat so I need to lose weight your body wants to take that from the most costly source possible so what's gonna end up happening if you're not both supporting and stimulating your lean muscle in a weight loss phase is your body is going to get rid of lean muscle. It's gonna consume that lean muscle first versus our fat. And that's because fat does not expend calories to exist on your body, okay? Um, so fat can just sit there um, and be what we call metabolically inactive uh, and, uh, and just sit there and do anything and, and, and do um, nothing at all actually. Uh, and your body's fine with that because it does not, it's not costly. Again, the converse is your muscle it uses calories just to exist, so your body wants to get rid of that first. Hence why we wanna make sure we're stimulating that, right? So behind me on the board here, let me see if I can get rid of that glare. Behind me on the board is an example of um, some measurements we could take from somebody who is not supporting uh, their lean muscle, not stimulating and supporting their lean muscle. Now, I picked nice and neat numbers, so I didn't have to do uh, some math, but we've seen several examples of this uh, very frequently. So let's look. So this person started uh, at about 200 pounds, right? When they started, we measured them at 30% body fat, which works out to 140 pounds of lean muscle and 60 pounds of fat. Okay. Now this person during their weight loss phase um, was doing one of two things or both. Uh, they were not eating enough protein in their diet and oh, man, I'm getting shaky. My arms are tired. Um, they were not eating enough protein in their diet and they were not successfully stimulating the lean mass to force it to at least maintain or grow during this process, right? So we look back at time point two now. So now, right, they're weighing in at 195 pounds. 
awesome. So we lost five pounds. That's fantastic, right? But you, they're asking themselves at this point, like, I don't feel like I look leaner. Like, I, I feel weaker in the gym, actually. And, you know, I, I'm not happy with this result. How come I lost five pounds, but I'm still not satisfied with it, right? Well, if we look, right, we see that they actually increased their body fat percentage from 30 to 32%. And while, guys, while I picked nice, neat numbers for this, this happens all the time. We see this happen specifically for these reasons, right? So I look down here at my body composition numbers and that means, uh, where's my finger? That means I lost se almost seven and a half pounds of muscle during that and gained two and a half pounds of fat. That is completely the opposite of what we want to happen, right? So here's the thing, guys, when you guys are uh, fasting or going extremely low carbohydrate, you're not giving your body the things it needs. Specifically, there's, there's a trend in extremely low calorie fasts right now um, to the point where you can't exercise at all, right? And we've seen this several times recently. Um, and those specifically, like, hey, you're not stimulating that lean muscle. You're not supporting it with enough protein, right? Because you're only getting a few hundred calories. There's no way to eat enough protein. What's going to happen is you're going to come out of this, if you did lose weight, um, you're going to come out of this weaker. You're going to come out of it with a higher body fat percentage. And you're going to come out of it not looking as good as you want to. Okay? You're going to feel like you still look soft even with that body weight lost. Okay. Um, the other thing that can happen with our extremely low carbohydrate diets, you might be able to maintain a, a decent level of protein in your diet uh, to maintain that lean mass from the nutrition sense, right? Um, but what's going to happen is you're not consuming enough cal uh, carbohydrates to uh, support your, your energy in the gym, right? Um, so what happens is carbohydrates are your energy for hard work. Uh, and one of the things we try to coach you guys on when you're here is we do want to rein those carbohydrates in to a maintainable and kind of tolerable level for the human body. Uh, cause Americans, we tend to overconsume carbs. Okay. Um, but with these extremely low carb diets, there's not even enough to support, uh, that exercise in the gym. And so you can't stimulate that lean muscle. All right, in order to help it grow or even maintain it during a weight loss phase. So again, the result ends up being the same on extremely low carb diets um, for different reasons, but you can't stimulate that lean muscle. And what ends up happening is at the end of this, we still feel like we look soft. Uh, we still might have the Dunlap over the pants or the, the bingo wings are soft and we just might not feel like we are happy. I'm gonna put my arms down a little bit with what we see in that mirror, right? And again, it's because we haven't been able to both support and stimulate that lean muscle, okay? Um, one of the other things too, guys, that you're gonna see um, in terms of the results you do see from extreme fasts or uh, extremely low carb diets um, are, you know, you're gonna have some good initial weight loss, okay? But you have to ask yourself, like, where's that weight loss coming from? So the first thing that's gonna happen when you go super low carb or you quit eating enough food is your uh, muscle um, glycogen stores are gonna deplete. What's my muscle glycogen? So muscle glycogen is simply um, the stored carbohydrates in your muscle that are immediately available for exercise. So all the exercise we do in here at Devoted Strength is pretty much carbohydrate based. Right? Yes, you're getting a cardiovascular effect and you're gonna have an overall fat burning effect from the workouts, but pretty much when you do a minute uh, max rep set of push-ups or bench press or squats, your muscles are running on their super quick energy stores of carbohydrates. Well, initially when you go low carb and you fast, those are the first things that are gonna disappear, right? That, gly that, that um, glycogen store um, is going to be gone from the muscle. You're gonna see some muscle size decrease, but you're all, you have that muscle energy decrease. Again, that's where people start to feel slow and sluggish in the gym. You can't challenge your body to the level you need to, to maintain that lean muscle. And again, this happens where we see a, um, an inverse weight loss and body fat weight goes down, but body fat goes up because we're losing muscle in the process. So guys, um, I'm wrapping up because we're coming on a 10 minute video, but the, my point is, I want you guys to be super cautious with your quick fix diets, things that are multiple weeks to a few months in length um, that offer some extreme um, and force you to do something extreme to get that result. Um, those are usually things you wanna be cautious against. One of the things we will always, always, always recommend here is something that's sensible, something that's gonna support your body, and something that's gonna get you results in the long term and be able to maintain them. Because what we don't want is you to come off of a quick fix diet, 
um, and then uh, either gain it all back or be worse for the wear. See you guys in the gym.